This video will cover the reset custom service used on the CVX series controller when you're communicating over Ethernet IP with a MicroLogix or SLC PLC. In this example, we have a MicroLogix PLC that we're using to set up this message. So what we'll do is I have a basic message already set up, as you can see here. So I'll click on Setup Screen to open up that message. So what the reset service will do is it'll perform the equivalent function of the reset input terminal that's on the parallel input block. Uh, it will clear the image archive buffer, clear the stat statistics buffer if you're using it, and set the reset, uh, reset the measurement count back to zero. So basically, it'll, again, it'll perform a reset to, to the controller. So if you want to start fresh. So this message, again, most of it's been set up already ahead of time, this custom service. So it's custom service 05 hex is the code for the reset service. So I'll put a five in, five hex in for the service code. Now, this message does not require any bytes to be sent or received, so you can leave both at zero here, the receive bytes and the send bytes at zero. In the multi-hop tab, the, this is where you set up the IP address of the CVX controller that this message will be sent to. So this is the CVX controller itself, so this, when we execute this message, this is the IP address this message will be sent to. So I'll go ahead and close that. So now we'll go ahead and download that to the PLC. Put the PLC in run mode, go online with it. So when we're ready, whenever you want to issue this command, you just simply enable the message. So I'll just, again, I'll just show you what it looks like here. So what I'll do is I'll manually toggle this bit on. And you can see that the message has been sent. If it is successful, the done bit will turn on to indicate that the message has completed. So that's it, it's a pretty simple message service, the reset. That's all you need. You don't need to send or receive any bytes. Just simply issue the message and it will reset the CVX controller.